Portraits and figure painting, that's what contemporary artist Ebenezer Akinola is displaying in this exhibition at the Ominke Gallery in Lagos. These visitors have come to the Omenka Gallery in Lagos to enjoy the works of art created by contemporary artist Ebenezer Akiola. This is my third solo exhibition and I think it's been a long time. My last solo was 2010, that was seven years ago. And I feel that I just sat down like I should have been doing this thing more often. For his colleague Sam Overiti, it was the invite that caught his eye as it had a smack of quality about it. When I saw the, the ivy for this show, and I was fascinated because of the quality of the work that I saw. Of course, I have known this artist, Akinola, for a, for a long time, and uh, I know that it's one of Nigeria's best when you talk about recording history. And that's the sort of realistic expression Ebenezer is serving his audience. A lot of forms, colors, and shapes into play in this exhibition called Where Do We Go From Here? I try to avoid something very philosophical or something very political. But somehow, I'm, a, I'm an actor trained technically. So where do we go from here? Man's search, man's search for identity. And it's as real as it gets because he has actually met the people in his paintings. I find this guy very interesting. He's a very cool guy. But he tries to create the impression that he's a tough guy. So he, 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 I saw him changing. He wants to look scary. But he's not, he's not that kind of a person. So I call him becoming. You're trying to become what you are not. It's like you are putting a veil on yourself. You want to portray a different thing, a different image to people of who you really are. In some of the works, like this series, where he captures turban people moving around like wanderers. You see somebody having a turban and carrying a calabash and you say it's from the north. No, it's not from the north. What I do is I mix cultures together. Cultures from the southeast. The rappers, generally, if you look at the rappers, they are from the south. The southeast. I'm from the west. I love the southeast. Then you see the turban. Some of it talks like an example, you see Toban from the north. But Toban is a general thing. But you see the Calabash, carrying Calabash is from my brain, it's from my head. So what I do, I, try, I mix things together as much as I, I want. I want culture, I want to, I'm trying to create my own culture, my own people, my own dressing, my own dressing code, my own geography. But you know, in a context of what you can understand, what you can relate to. The issue of migration comes up. Why do people feel the urge to move? Some of the things that you see, people are moving. The question is, where are they going to? You are carrying load. What is it that you are carrying? What is it? The, color, the load, most of the loads are just empty. So you see, there is so much emptiness. You know, man is searching. You are constantly searching. There is so much movement. You are moving. But where are you going to? So you see the background. There's, I like the idea of the emptiness. The idea works for me very well. You see, there is, the, the, technically, it works for me because my, my, my positive image comes out more when I blank out the negative space. Then another thing, secondly, it works out for me in like it can speak volume. You know, people can look at the painting. There is, no, there is nothing at that background. So you begin to ask yourself, where are these people going to? It's a question. So that is what it's all about. To this other series inspired by the Durba Festival. This is from the north. And it was from my romance when I, I, tried, I, I stumbled on the, 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 the Doba Festival. And I found it very interesting. So I decided to experiment with this one. Like this one, you look at this is somebody from the North. This is somebody from the Doba series. And, uh, but subsequently, I'm not going to make them to be completely from the North. Like you see, this one is different from the other ones. It's, these are the last ones I worked on. So I, this is purely cultural. This for people, but they are different from the other ones. The title is King's Men. The curator, Oliver Emwonwu, looks at the art from a deeper perspective and the word identity pops up yet again. Uh, his work talks about migration, 
disorientation and how we're trying to find ourselves as a people. The effects of colonialism and what happened after colonialism and how we're trying to find our identity in today's globalized world. This is what he's trying to talk about in his pieces. He creates them himself and he's talking about these issues and how they make us hybrid. For the other visitors here, Ebenezer has just taken them on a journey through distant lands and cultures with attention to detail. I like the color palette. I like how he's been able to fuse images together. To, it, 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 tell, it, it tells his strength um, as an artist, his ability to combine images, to tell one story here and to stretch it to another and to make it a series. Everything put together, they are talking about a particular thing, a festival or an occasion. You know, that is what artists should be doing. They should be able to look at an item or look at a theme and address it. There's one that I'm seeing that says, uh, we never read there. Uh, I love the work. I love the work. It's, uh, it depicts uh, a statement from a young guy asking, we've gone this far. Are we not there yet? And I think it's a question that we should start asking ourselves uh, presently in this nation. It's amazing that with the, with the current state in, the, in society and the economy, people are able to put their thoughts out on paper in such a lovely way. Most of Ebenezer's works of art are done on oil on canvas, which he uses to connect the dots between the real and the abstract world.